peak Winona Ryder. Not Beetlejuice, not Edward Scissorhands, not Stranger Things, Mr. Deeds. Welcome back, YouTube. We are hitting a little poll day today. We are about 30 weeks almost to the day, give or take. Um, yeah, I think it's like 30 weeks and three days till showtime. But um, yeah, we're sitting right now about 2.25 um, overall, kind of looking pretty good. Obviously looking a little fluffy, holding on to a little bit of water, a little extra fat. But we got a couple weeks, uh, maybe five or six, to even maybe up to eight weeks potentially. Uh, still kind of just on this little mild bulk, trying to just fill out some areas, um, slab on some more clay and some other uh, components of the sculpture that we're trying to create. That's a weird analogy, but anyways, yeah. So um, maybe like eight weeks or so of packing on some more size, eating a lot of food, and then summertime, I'll start kind of cutting down some more and trying to see what's all underneath. So everything's going pretty according to plan. Um, yeah, can't really complain. So just trying to get big, train hard, and uh, stay on top of everything else. Sleep, food, recovery, and uh, of course just the mental sides. So. It was funny because we were like, we both got lawn seats and I just turned, I'm like, Jeremy? <laughs> oh no, I, I, saw through, I saw through the glare. Moving on to a slightly different single arm pull down variation, kind of going from a high angle. So being able to kind of draw that arm forward a little bit, get a little more length in that lat, rather than pulling kind of just completely vertical. Um, just feels a lot better. Stimulus to me is a lot easier to find and really just kind of maintain good consistent lat tension. One thing I've really been focusing on after watching one of uh, Joe Bennett's 
the hypertrophy coaches videos is the concept of scapular depression in terms of lat activation. And so really just trying to focus on things from the concept of is the movement I'm doing either retracting or pulling the scapula down, which is ultimately kind of the chief function of the lat and something that the lat kind of does that the you know teres and other muscle groups don't necessarily do. So um, when I'm doing a pull down or a row or things like that, I feel like it's a little bit easier to feel the lat and keep a good path if I just focus on trying to pull that scapula down towards my hip as much as possible, or in the case of a row, back as much as possible. That was a terrible, terrible nickname. Winona Ryder. Not Beetlejuice, not Edward Scissorhands, not Stranger Things, Mr. Deeds. getting some wide grip pull downs in. Um, good amount of lat stimulus, good amount of rear delt and Terry stimulus. So trying to just create some good solid 3D lines in the upper back. Um, trying to just maintain a really good wide angle. And then in terms of range of motion, I wanna try and make sure I get a, a stretch without getting release. So like my shoulder kind of stays packed a little bit. So I'm keeping all that tension in my lats, not losing tension in my lats and kind of rounding through the traps or even like stretching the rib cage. Try to think like rib cage down, stretch through the lat, pull down as low as I can. And that's really gonna vary person to person too. Some people are gonna have a really easy time getting down to their chin. Some people might be able to get really low. Um, the only thing I'd really try to emphasize is not getting so low that we're internally rotating our shoulders.
One of my favorite lat isolation exercises, the straight arm pull down. Just good to really throw anywhere in the workout, whether it's in the beginning, try and warm up, activate the lats so you get better sensation with some of your more compound movements, or at the end when everything else is pretty fatigued and you're just trying to see how much more your lat has left in it. So typically I do a little bit of both, lighter sets, blood flow into the lats, warm up, and then heavier sets towards the end, or as heavy as I can go. And just try to just get everything I can out of the lats. We'll get some rear delts here. Um, still have some single arm rows and then just some biceps. So not too much more. Those are pretty smoked. Um, obviously, rear delts are included in a lot of stuff that we're training today, all the back work. And uh, yeah, so fatiguing pretty quickly for the rear delts. Um, we'll hit one more higher rep set here, just to get a little more volume, make sure we're getting those end ranges shortened and lengthened positions. And then, uh, yeah, we'll move back over to the lats, get those one arm rows, and then just get some biceps in and keep steady growing. Short rest. Reach forward. Thank you. 
shoulder turn on that last one to finish but lat sensation is feeling really good I've been doing these kind of more in a kneeling fashion in the past and it's kind of a distraction so being able to sit and kind of lean forward a little bit not only gives me a better stretch position but just a lot more stable of a base to pull from wasn't necessarily perfect, but the stimulus is all there. I'm not pulling from the trap, not pulling from the arm, forearm, bicep, shoulder, a lot of just lat. So forgive me for hitting some partials. Bicep time. <sighs> Doing some cable kind of hammer curls. Um, Mostly just because my brachialis has been a little funky. Um, so trying to kind of get it maybe used to those different kinds of rotations. Been doing a lot of like supinated bicep curls. And so kind of fixing more neutral and even pronated grip in there. To try and get some of that maybe just overuse tendonitis out of that elbow. Um, so warming it up with hammer curls before we go and do some dumbbell incline curls in a supinated position. Honestly, the supinated position feels fine. It's just when I do anything other than supinated for curls, it feels a little off.
From sitting at Dr. Phil yesterday? You mean it was because you were getting up like more of a more of a Jerry Springer kind of guy. <laughs> nope, that's not happening today. Oh, I need your help a little bit. But. Yeah, gotta strap it through high up on the shoulder, like the top of the bicep. So you could just pull that, pull that through. Yeah, pull, give it a really good pull. You gotta pull it pretty tight. Even tighter. Even tighter. About there is good. I'll lock that nice. down. Other side, keep going, keep going. Pull, there we go. Uh, no, it'll be fine. Okay. You don't want it to be too tight right away because then it'll get really can... gnarly. <laughs> but, okay. Gonna finish with a little bit of occlusion or blood flow restriction training. Katsu training as they uh, say, I think. I think it's katsu or that might be a sandwich, but in Japan, um, essentially, all we're going to do is restrict blood flow um, from escaping the muscle. The blood flow is free to come into the muscle, but it has a harder time coming back up towards the heart. So we're going to do a heavy, not a heavy, about 30% rep uh, of your one rep max for about a set of 30, and then rest a little bit, set of 15, rest a little bit, set of 15. But we'll kind of speed it up and everything so it's easier to digest. Obviously, as you're lifting and performing the exercise, you're getting a lot of blood flow into the muscle, increasing muscular size, and so it makes it even tighter. So, a little bit of blood flow, I'm sure, is gonna obviously be able to come back, I'm not turning, you know, white or purple or anything. Um, I mean, I'm, I am white already, but. Uh, rest a little bit, hit a set of 15, rest a little bit, hit a set of 15, and, uh, get a lot of the benefits of a lot of metabolic stress into the muscle without a whole lot of physical damage. 
especially with this elbow feeling a little funny, uh, it's a good kind of low stress way to train a muscle. Getting a little uncomfortable. We'll get one more set here and then we'll be done for today. Oof. Come on. Okay, so that is a wrap for today. Pull day, um, just a lot of back work, working on just creating some good width from the lats and everything. So uh, food has been going really well, sleeping a lot better. Um, overall, pretty much just everything, just really kind of in a good place right now. Food, training, recovery, everything's just really well dialed in. So um, we've got 30 weeks, three days, and some change. And uh, yeah, plenty of time, but I'm not really looking at it in terms of uh, we can be, you know, lazy or slack off. We're kind of looking at it as maximizing every single one of those days. So um, getting pretty much everything we can and just kind of enjoying the process, but also enjoying the rigorous kind of grind of it all. So trying to make it as hard as possible, <laughs> but ultimately trying to make it um, you know, the end result being what we want. So um, that's a wrap for today. That's all I can really say. We are pushing tomorrow. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, liking, following, subscribing. Bo Alexander, Adapt Fitness, Dallas, Texas. And we'll see you on the next one.